Hey guys, it's Brian again with another ceiling fan video. What I have for you here is a 52 inch Vienna ceiling fan. I believe this to be from about the mid to late 1980s. It's polished brass. It has a light up motor housing with diamond patterned uh, glass sideband. And it also has a four light kit on it with diamond patterned uh, glass globes to match. Really, really, really unique ceiling fan. I happen to like this thing a lot. Um, it does actually remind me a lot of the Homestead Capistrano that I had um, a few years back. That actually got traded to John Reed. He now possesses that fan. This is a three-speed reversible fan. Uh, it has two integrated pull chains into the switch housing for controlling the speeds on the fan, the up light, and the down light as well uh, in a three position sequence. Uh, it has oak blades as you can see, ball socket mounting system, and it did come with its original tassel pull chains which are in very nice shape which I love. Really happy it came with the original tassels because that just completes the fan. I have it on longer chains for testing purposes. But it moves a lot of air, actually. It's a really good air mover. Uh, I believe this has a Firebird motor in it, like the Homestead Capistrano did. Um, pretty much an identical motor. So I'm pretty sure that's a Firebird motor in this. I have absolutely no idea where this fan came from when it was originally sold. I know nothing about it. I've never even heard of Vienna, to be quite honest. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And everything works on it which is nice because most of the time you see burned out bulbs on these, but it all works. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the light kit. First pull you get the up light, which has all of the bulbs working. Second pull you get both the up and down light. Third pull you get just the down light and then finally off. So we're gonna turn them all on. And I'm gonna demonstrate the fan starting with low speed. It's got a really nice low speed, perfect, um, perfect speed, honestly. Definitely a nice aesthetic. And yes, I do realize that my light bulbs don't match. I don't really honestly care. I'm just demonstrating the fan. Moves a nice little gentle breeze on low. You can feel some air movement. doesn't hum so we'll bump it to medium it does have a slight bit of wobble to it but it's not really that noticeable on medium actually a pretty good amount of air it moves on medium I'm surprised definitely a good quality fan the finish on the fan is honestly not the greatest it does have some pitting and it's a little bit dirty I haven't had a chance to clean it up yet but other than that the thing runs perfectly I picked this one up off of marketplace uh, out in Willowick which is on the eastern side of Cleveland and actually a really nice neighborhood right on the lake really Really nice house this came out of, a nice old Tudor house. I can only imagine what room it was in. Probably the dining room or something. But it's a really gorgeous fan. And we'll bump it to high. Wobble is a little bit more pronounced. Really not that bad actually moving a lot of air this definitely wasn't a cheap fan back in the day really nice amount of air movement I was actually thinking about putting this in my girlfriend's kitchen because the fan that she has in the kitchen is one of those Hampton Bay Bridgetons or Bridgeport or whatever the heck you call it and it's Kind of on its last legs. So I figured 
replace it with something like this. It looks really nice. It moves a lot more air. And we'll do spin down and turn the light off. I've always had a thing for these lighted housing ceiling fans, even like the really cheapo stuff like the Harbor Breeze Moon Glows. Always had a thing for them, but I especially have a thing for the four bladed ones like these. Kind of wish this had stencil blades to be quite honest, but whatever. It does match her kitchen cabinets though, actually perfectly. So this would be perfect for her kitchen. Obviously, I'll clean it up and put a little bit of oil in it. You notice that it has a decently quick spin down. So it definitely needs a little bit of oil and a little bit of TLC. But I'm going to fix it up and put it in her kitchen. So anyway, that's the 52-inch Vienna ceiling fan. Hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching. More videos to come.